The iconic TTC chime has been temporarily replaced. And it's the type of sound you'd hear in a nightmare, which isn't the intention. We did hear the first couple of days we had the chimes up that they were a bit louder than they needed to be. But, you know, let's keep in mind that the subways are a noisy place to begin with. And, uh, you know, th this is, these are certainly no louder than a subway rumbling through a station. Many have taken to social media to complain about the chime. One saying the TTC sound is just awful. You have to get rid of this. Another tweeting, what is this squawking sound in the TTC subway stations? We understand that there's some internet outrage out there, so we have to keep that in context. But we have heard from our customers and our employees too. Um, so that, you know, there's, there's some consistent trend there in terms of uh, people saying that they're a bit too loud. So we worked with, uh, with our radio shop and we got them adjusted. Uh, so we, we, we absolutely recognize that there were some concerns early on about the volume. We've brought that down a bit. City News took this video today. You can hear the sound that was supposed to be greeting riders onto the subway. The voices are provided by Toronto's largest 2S LGBTQIA plus community choir singing out. We haven't really done things like this in the past. We've done announcements, fun announcements in the past. We've had Seth Rogen do some, some public service announcements. Uh, this was something different with the chime. Uh, so there's definitely a lesson learned here in terms of the volume and the frequency at which these things are operating. Uh, but just we want to keep them out there because it's really important that the TTC shows its support for, for pride, for the community, um, and for some new initiatives that we're undertaking. Who you want to be? Singing Out appeared on Breakfast Television last week. Their Vice President Noah Whitenoff says the TTC approached the choir with the idea. And it was a great opportunity for the choir to get our voices elevated across the GTA. Um, it's been such an amazing experience to hear ourselves on all the uh, platforms. The chimes will play throughout the month of June and officials with the TTC say they will continue to keep an eye out on the volume and frequency at which the chimes are being played to ensure an enjoyable ride for transit passengers. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.